Hello everybody and in this tutorial in the Python tutorial we will understand what are functions in Python. So let's get started. Okay so this function as the name suggests it is a block of an organized reusable code and this code can be reused in my program as many times and this provides with modularity. That means a complex thing can be easily concised and presented very in a modular manner in my representation okay, of the code. And this block, see the syntax is, I define DEF, this is a keyword and automatically this is highlighted in green. That means it is, now I'm defining a function with a function name and this name could be anything. And in the parentheses, I write parameter followed by indented colons this is indented okay this means this is a defining of a function next i write this function suit this doc string if you want okay that what it does now that it will return some values or not is adding or something and then i return this inside i can give expression if i want or i can leave it blank we'll see this return in coming up uh, video okay now coming up this series this next now let's see the example of it what i do is i define a function called print me okay. let's just see this only and inside i pass string the string is a keyword so it has been highlighted in green and then in the end i mark this indented indentions okay these colons so this has been defined as a function that this is print me underscore me is the function name inside I'm passing parameter called string then what I do is I can just simply write something like you know any doc string that this will return this will return the past let's say string okay so this is optional if you want if you don't want you can skip it and then I print the string and I pass return First check this function what this function gives me this gives me okay I have to run this first okay. main class has been made of this print me as you can see but if you want to check what is this print string this class is a string so the output it gives me is the class is string you can see check it with the parenthesis check it with this quotes that means it is a string Okay. Now, what if, if I write, now I'm calling this function and I'm writing my name and I check it, it's giving me Priyanka. Okay. What next? I print, print, again I call this function and I write in the string, hi, we are studying functions in Python. I hit shift and enter, run this code and we get this same thing. Similarly, you can perform as it many a times call this function and this will give me the same return value. Now suppose if I, what happens if I write like, you know, I add a cell by hitting, when this blue line comes, I hit B and a new cell is added. Now I suppose, suppose I don't write anything, I just pass simple parameters, then what will it give me? It will give me missing one required positional argument okay and this comes with functions and this is dealt with in previous in in the next videos i'll be discussing about these arguments in functions okay now let's examine this return statement what is this return statement this return statement is exist this exit a function okay if you give an expression inside that that's okay if you do not give it then it is same as the return none now i explain you with the help of an example now suppose this is the function definition now what is it i define a function called sum okay and i give two arguments parameters here argument one and argument two you can write anything a b c whatever and i end it with this colon okay then what I do, I pass a string so that you can understand this thing. It is just for uh, uh, given so that the one who is reading the code can understand your code. Okay. 
So what you do, you add the both parameters and then you return them. I write total. In this total, I add these two variables. Argument 1 and argument 2. Okay, simple. Then I want it to print. And I write that print inside the function. Anything you can give a message here. And you write total. Okay, and this will return total. Okay, this is the end. This is the function definition which I have seen. The syntax. Now what you do, you call sum function. So you write total is equals to call this sum. Okay, 10 and 20. Whatever you want to give, give anything here. 60, 70, 90, 100, whatever. And then here, this I'm return telling it to return this total. In this total, I have to call this function and I have to pass these two argument values. Then what I do is I print outside the function and then I write total. Alright, now see what happens. This will give me inside the function, it has added and given me 30. And outside the function also it has given me 30. Okay, just, just see it, watch it very carefully. Now what if, if we remove this return total? And again, we run this code and see what it has given me that inside the function I have printed and this arguments are coming as 30, but outside the function it is none. So this is not returning me anything. If I have this return, it will return, otherwise, it will not return anything. Okay, fine. So outside the function it will not work. If return is not present so inside the function it will work okay so that's it for this video and in the next video we shall see various arguments required for you know for defining a function okay and um, thanks for watching